Hello Autobots and Decepticons, my name is Somongri and I'd like to welcome you guys back to the Armor Set series. In this episode, we have the Decepticon Destroyer, Swindle. So here Swindle is in his robot form. He's very cool looking. I like his tires a lot. They glow and they got some thick treads. Here he is. He does a little like bounce in his vehicle form. He's got like a Land Cruiser almost. So that's pretty cool. He's got the big gun on top. So that is Swindle and I will meet you guys in a game. Alright guys, here we are in a Conquest game, and I moved my mic a little bit, so if I sound a little bit different, louder, I apologize. But here we are as Swindle, the Decepticon Destroyer, and not really the best overall name I could call him, I guess. He is a con man, or an entrepreneur first, before a con, and here we got ourselves our first battle with the Titan. I'm gonna try to sell him something because he's gonna need some spare parts after that one. But no, we're using the A4 Pulsar Cannon because it was requested. So I'm trying it out here. I don't use it, use it, but maybe I should. Look at that. Can I get a triple? Give me the triple. Come on, what are you gonna do, High Flyer? What are you gonna do? Come on, come on. I got the Riot Cannon as well and he gets blasted. Didn't even have to touch my planet blaster. So that's a booyah. And Swindle, a very cool character. Not necessarily totally a Decepticon. I mean, he is, but he's more of a con man first. He prides himself in knowing the best market prices for everything. And he loves being able to sell whatever it is, a piece of junk, anything, to somebody else. He can sell a ketchup popsicle to a lady in white gloves. He is that good. And that is his main focus. If there's deals to be made, that is what he is going to do. And we are in a huge war, so there is deals to be made. And that guy's going to need spare parts to come back. And <laughs> that guy got just decorated from a pulsar cannon real nice. So this gun it looks like, wow, look at this guy. <laughs> He's just walking along double kill. Booyah, Swindle. So it looks like this gun's all right. I don't usually use it too much. I hate having to press two buttons to use a gun. And... I did fail to mention that besides being in a sweet hover looking craft there, I am also using the hover for my ability, so we are going to use that. I haven't used that for quite some time, and it's a pretty fun perk to use. I figure Conquest, why not? It should be pretty fun to use that in. And I just love how he looks here. He looks like a, like a hovercraft of some sort. And in G1, I believe he was a Jeep, more specifically I think a Willy Jeep, and it was kind of cool because he had... I believe like a golden and purple tone to it so it was a pretty sweet looking ride if you do ask me and please ask me because I will tell you it was awesome and I'm sure he was stocked with the best parts because he probably sold some crappy parts to some poor Autobot or Decepticon for way higher of value than what they were worth and then he hooked himself up with a little seven kill streak with the Pulsar Cannon and here we are high and mighty let's see if we can get the slam Oh, a little late on the button press, but we got him with the Planet Blaster anyways. Or the just original Riot Cannon. So Swindle, very cool. He combines with his brothers to form Bruticus. You guys all know that already if you played through the campaign. And we are on a roll here. We are down quite a bit though. It'd be nice to get the win. So I apologize, this may be a long game. I try to bring you guys more deathmatch and something shorter, something under 10 minutes because it's better for the market price. More bang for your buck, as Swindle would say. And I don't even know if that makes sense or applies to a Conquest game, but why not? Let's go and hopefully capture B. Can I interest you guys in a Planet Buster? <laughs> yeah, this guy, he wants one too. Come on, the price is right. Price is right. Bob Barker says, come on down. Come on. And I think it's about time that I leave. Oh, lasted. To oblivion. I think that was my first death. And there goes evil Grimlock. Looks like he could use a new tail. Maybe we'll go into some negotiations with that tail of his. Looking a bit rusty. So, Swindle, a very cool character. I like that he's Decepticon, but yet he kind of strays away if there's a good deal. He's just a typical businessman. I love it. And I do not want to get rusty, but can I offer you in some projectiles? I know you want some. <laughs> and... I'm sorry if I'm overdoing the whole business market man type deal, Swindler, but I just love it. It's awesome. And I can't believe I waited this long to do Swindle because 
It's pretty cool. And he is a major part of these Transformers universe, although he wasn't in G1 a awful lot. And good time to smack a Decepticon, or an Autobot, I should say. Who knows what side I'm fighting for, but oh! I just got a Hover Slam kill. I think that's like my second ever, maybe first. So, because of the occasion, I'm offering free projectiles to the next customer, and that guy just got some for free. Yeah! So, yeah, we got ourselves a little bit of a comeback, I think, brewing here. We got two points. They got one. So he's better to have two than one. And if you can have all three, why not? Let's see here. We got ourselves an infiltrator as pesky. He wants that. But I got myself a health spring. Got it on sale. And now I'm using it myself. So no value. And this guy thinks he can cloak and get away. But come on. I came prepared with a little bit of a ride cannon. So that ain't too bad for using two cannons. And look at this. Another health spring. A booyah. A booyah. So, I don't usually use the two cannons because I like having the thermal rocket against a jet if he flies away with the quick lock on. But then again, I don't play this game too often, so I'm ready to try out new combinations. Pretty much play this game, you know, one to two times a day to get the right armor set series video going for you guys. Sometimes I'll enter into an Autobot when I'm supposed to be a Decepticon. And I don't know why I'm telling you guys that now, but that's what is happenings on the of Subatron land and it's a little bit better without that gear shredder being so tough but now we might have a problem with Swindle selling good parts to the wrong side and everybody might fly and BAM get blasted to oblivion wasn't sure if I'd get that guy so his shields regenerate but we ended up getting him so let's see if we can get this guy I know this guy probably behind him they'd spawn in it yep here he comes BAM BAM come on Come on, you don't want Riot Cannon? It's on sale, come on! And we'll fire some projectiles. Uh-oh. Let's go high and mighty and above. Better deals come from above and then get slammed down on you. That's not a fair price, he's saying, and I get burnt for my treachery and trying to give him a bad deal. But I'll be back with Deceptic Coupons. And I'm getting a Skype call, hold on. Somebody wants a deal. One second, I gotta decline this. And no, oh, really, really? <laughs> can't can't a Decepticon just make a deal? Can't he just make a deal? Where is Howie Mandel? I need him. Deal or no deal? Come on, man. Come on. All right, here we go. So we got ourselves a little bit closer. We're narrowing the gap. And I wanted to make that jump. I'm stuck. See if we can help out at C and probably hurt myself. And with this pulsar cannon, I noticed that you can hurt yourself, so you gotta be a little bit careful, which is cool. And let's see here. No one around, might as well capture this point. Hey, it's Evil Swoop. How's it going, brah? Haven't seen you for a while. It's good you're just hanging out, doing evil to evil toots that type stuff. The stinkiest toots ever. No evil swoop type stuff. I bet you he does have some nasty toots. I just know it. Probably toots out some like toxic fumes. Yeah, dropping a dime there, not too bad. I'll have to charge you for that kill later. For the assistance. Always gotta make a buck when you can. Gotta swindle them for what they got. So let's blitz over here. Let's see if we can... Ooh, power core. Makes everything ten times better. Look through the power core, it's like watching through 3D glasses. And maybe not that much of an effect. <laughs> but we are getting help here, and we are getting help from the power core as well. So let's blast that Titan. Let's see if we can get this guy with the missiles. Oh yeah! And I like using the missiles in the destroyer a lot more than any other class because of how quickly... BAM! That guy gets blasted. No, how quickly he has to reload his weapons because going into vehicle form shooting your missiles will reload your guns for you and where are you shooting at is there a fly what's going on here I don't see anyone up there Let's see if we can get this guy come here come here come here I want to show you my cannon they're on sale and I'm sure I have like a huge on sale count in this video already <laughs> how many things can be on sale it's not possible but I can hover forever well 
Not forever, but I do have the intercooler. Makes hover that much cooler. Is this guy whirlwinding? Oh, he stopped. That's a smart titan. So I crumble to the ground. To oblivion! Alright, so let's see here. We got everything but B. Hmm. There goes evil Grimlock. How's it going, bro? Having a good day? That's good. I'll come back later about that tail. Alright. Let's go to B. See if we can help out. See if we can sell someone something. I'll even fight for the Autobots if they'll take my prices. But I don't even need to because I'm that good of a salesman like I've been saying this whole time. And I don't know why I'm so hung up on that. I just think it's really cool. And I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Come on! Don't kill the guy that's selling you the sweet weapons! Come on. How are you going to fight without him? And hopefully they don't see me. And I'm just going to try to capture this as best as I can. I know they're all around me. be nice to be able to capture this and make them recapture it. Nice. All right. Now if I fall, it doesn't matter so much. But look what I have here. Infinite flight. Oh yeah. Oh, what's going on, Destroyer? No, no, no. Nice. That guy's been healing me a lot. Thanks for the Energon. I appreciate it. It's so yummy. And I think I'll just, you know, fly around for a little bit. Just all high and mighty and stuff. No big deal. So yeah, good view. Just love the air up there. Aww. I was going to say, you can just breathe in freshness from above. I love it. So... Where to go? Where to go? I think I might just hold it down here for a little bit. With evil swoop, yeah, bruh. Let's hold it down. And here's the invisible guy. If I could hit him, it'd be awesome. There he is. And oh, we got it. Whoa, Optimus. Where are you going, Optopotamus? Come on. And he just gets blasted. He's like, save me. And the other infiltrator is dying. He's like, don't come to me. Oh man. All right, I'm about to get scrapped. Hopefully he can't shoot up or down. Probably a bad time to go down. I probably could have avoided the whirlwind. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Nice. Oh, did I kill myself? Oh, no, there's a G1 Prime there. I fall to the mighty Prime. That's all right. And we have taken the lead. And what are you doing, bro? Why am I spawning in next to you? Not good, not good, not good, not good. And you have the health spring. Really not good. Come on, let's make a deal. Oh. oh. Looks like I'm going to be the one needing spare parts now. And that guy just got bamboozled by the whirlwind. <laughs> just like a hurricane coming through. You can't stop it. Parts flying everywhere. And I'm going to go collect the pieces and sell them later. So this should do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode with Swindle. 20 kills and the win. Not too bad for a con man. So remember to let me know who you guys want to see next. And remember to leave a rating and subscribe for more Transformers. Have a great day, everyone.